found this cool sort of intense version of Luffy Gear 5. He doesn't have like a hat or anything. Just like white shirt and silver hair and like intense eyes. It's like a real serious, different style, alternate version. So let's give it a go. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. Speed it up if I go too slow. Mute it if I talk too much. <laughs> so set the point of my page about here. Come down, cross, start with the eyes. So different eyes, right? Luffy normally has like round eyes. These have like eyelashes and stuff. Yeah, cool. I like it. The future is interesting for art with all these. So this comes up and then across. Okay. And like this is like lots of eyelashes. Like really detailed and stuff. Which I like, which is interesting. And then it goes back this way and it's kind of like spikes. So we've got like a little like flick and then it comes down this way. And then this has like eyelashes there, right? So in this one, his eye has a double line. So it's got this line here and then it comes down around this way on the inside, right? and like up into a tear duct sort of area, like in here somewhere. Right, and then like some more dots and dashes and maybe some eyelashes and stuff on the inside, right? We could like thicken up this. All right, and he's like, he's like, just more intense looking, sort of weary. And then his iris is kind of like a cat's eye. It's kind of long, right? So it kind of like curves down this way. It would be more like Zorro or something. One of those sort of long circular eyes. And then the pupil like that, right? So different. Okay, so his eyebrow is different as well. It doesn't have the spiral. I might give it the spiral. So we'll go curve line. And it's real hairy, right? So it's kind of spiky at first. Like this kind of thing. But I mean, is it gear five without the spirally eyebrow? I mean, technically, let's see what I can do. So we'll go, I'm gonna spiral to hell with it. Yeah, okay, done. It's done. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> what do you think? I think it needs the spiral. So it comes down then into here. It's always nervous when you're like, it's, it fills me with anxiety every time when you like take a chance. I mean, you can change it and fix it, but you know, what do you think? Let's see. I like it. We'll keep it. And then we have like an eyelid line. There's actually two eyelid lines. Okay. And then this sort of brow line sort of goes that way. So his nose then, we're kind of in profile. I usually start with the nose when we're in profile, but I like the eye this time. I thought it was the most intense feature. But the nose, right, just across from the eye here, curves out. Now you're going, it's not a full eye. It's probably like the distance see, between this line and this sort of iris. It's probably like, or his tear duct. It's probably like three quarters of his eye. Like the tear duct to the edge of his iris sort of fits across in this, in this space here. So here to here is about the same as here to here. See that? Just if you're wondering about a proportion, like when you draw the eye and you're like, how far out is the nose? It's about this distance. Here to here is about the same as there to there. Okay. And then what you do is you'll curve around 
the tip of his nose, right? So it kind of looks like a letter seven upside down, a number seven upside down or a letter L, like a curvy letter L. Right, and at the top, you can't see much. So we'll go, like we'll just turn it into a Z and then his eyebrow kind of goes up here. Okay, so just like a white eyebrow. And then there's like some more of these eyelashes just sticking out here. But you can't really see much else. So his top lip then comes out from here diagonally. You're going this way now. And then his mouth is like a letter M, right? So it comes out like that. It's just an M sort of stretched out. Or you know the way when you're drawing birds flying in the sky, you know, with the, the easy way. It's kind of like that. And then his chin comes down around like so. So you can finish this mouth sort of shape then. And he's looking sort of real intense and serious. Right, so a line there. Maybe like a, a line for his bottom lip a little bit as well. No nostril, but I think he needs, does he need a nostril? I'll put it, where would the nostril be? No, maybe not actually. No, I don't think we should see the nostril because we're like looking, it's like looking down, I'm just thinking about that now. Because if I put the nostril there, hmm. I'll come back to that, I'm not sure. So then his jaw, comes up the side here and then it curves up towards his ear. We have his ear then, his ear lobe just here, which curves around up into here and goes behind sort of his his sideburn sort of hairline area, right? And in this version, his hair is crazy, right? So it's got like lots of these different sort of spikes and stuff like that. So that's like the start of his sort of sideburn area, right? And then inside we have the ear lines. So this sort of letter J shape is always the way I like to start them. You know, kind of like a letter J and then you can add like a little bump at the front for that section of the ear. And like more or less lines, however much you feel. So because we're doing an alt, an alty version, he needs a scar, but I'm gonna do it like a real scar so it's going to be like right it's going to be like jaggedy and a bit messed up so like he like messed up his face real bad right and then we're going to add another bit of it down here as well This will go down on his neck too. Right? So it's a bit crazy looking, but I think it's cool. All right, so his hairline, so he's got this sort of jaggedy, zigzag kind of hairline that comes around all this way. All right? And then, so he's got like a fringe that curves down across his face, across like that, like right touches that scar. It's back up here. And then we have another spike there. And then this comes up past his eye. Sort of around that way. Do, 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 do. 
think this is going to be, yeah, we're going to give him like a spike going this way as well. Why not, eh? So he's all hair then, right? You got a bit of like zigzag for his hairline just at the back of his neck, right? Back of his neck is there and then the front of his neck is like here. And then we're gonna give him another like piece of scar sort of on his forehead. He's all scarred up. And then loads of hair, like messy, crazy hair. Crazier than what we're used to. With gear five, it's like these little spirals and stuff. You could, we could maybe we'll add like one or two little spirals. But... All right, so like, bum bum. Sort of spiral there, maybe that's kind of fun. So it's intense and messy. So you just keep sort of adding all these hair spikes. So this one kind of goes long here. So stuff goes off my page and then the hair kind of comes back in the other side here. Building up and adding, building up all these spikes coming down the back of the head. Mm, what way is that now? That's going that way. Interesting. Okay. So then we gotta add like some more inside here. So all these sort of textures. 
and layers like this. Crazy big silver hair. Okay. I think that'll do for his hair. That's like, that's enough, isn't it? It's a lot. Okay. So moving down to some anatomy, right? So that's his neck and we need his collar. Okay, so he's got a big white collar of a shirt sticking out here. And comes out this way, in and down. And then this comes up, it goes around sort of the neck here. So that's a neck muscle going down the middle, and then a neck muscle sort of here. We should see another neck muscle there. Or a real long neck. And then like his chest goes that way, and then your collarbones or chest muscles. And he's got the scar in his chest, but we'll just get the clothing in first. So his collar at the back comes out here. It's kind of like a shirt just sticking out that way. And this collar comes down here. So it's like sticking out the other side there. like that and you've got like some little fold lines and stuff just on that and then his back comes down this way and his shoulder on this side comes out from here down like that and then you've got like some fold lines Four lines just going around his shoulder muscle. There. Right, so we give him like his scar on his chest, what we can see of it anyway. So it goes like up the middle here, doesn't it? So like just like little spikes. And then like some hatching and stuff just there. And I'm going to give him a scar on his neck as well. So it's like a different sort of... So it like joins that one on his face. So I'll just like darken this line up just to make it match. You've got like hatching and stuff in there. Right, so then he's got like fire everywhere. Basically coming across his like chest and stuff and his body. some little sort of smoke and stuff like 
that and dots and things. Okay. So that's like, you know, smoke and fire. You could like shade it gray. This would be like red and gold and, you know, fire just going in behind his body and everything coming out from behind. Right. But there you go. Luffy. Gear 5 alternate version. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.